For tonight's meal, we're going to try a stir fry. Uh, stir fry is very quick, easy. You can put a lot of different things into it. You can make it extremely tasty. Uh, you can serve it with rice or pasta or even a couscous, which I'm going to make tonight with this meal. But right now, all we're going to do is worry about the stir fry. Uh, you don't have to put the exact ingredients I'm putting in, but it all goes well together. Okay, first we need to start off with the hot uh, electric wok. This is a great investment. It's, the cost of this wok is about what it is to take a date to a nice steakhouse, so I really recommend that you put this in your armory in the kitchen. Now to, to start it off, we're going to put in bacon. You can stir fry in olive oil, you can stir fry in butter, but you know what? Things in bacon really taste good. Uh, so we're going to cook this bacon around for about, oh, probably three to four minutes just to get it to, so it starts to get crisp up, and then we'll come back and we'll put the vegetables in. As you can see, the bacon is kind of starting to burn around the edges, getting a little bit clear, so this is when you want to start adding the vegetables. Uh, you've got a little bit of grease down here, that's fine because you're going to put a lot of stuff in here and that's just going to absorb the flavor. Okay, vegetables we have pre-cut and what I am using uh, is green beans, fresh green beans, nothing out of a can, fresh mushrooms, sliced, onions, and we have onions and green peppers and red peppers. And I've not diced these. As you can see, they are in strips. That will make them taste a lot better when you put everything together. So there's the onions, green pepper, and red pepper. If nothing else, you're going to make a pretty meal. We just hope it tastes good too. And there's a couple more mushrooms. And then I'm going to throw some cucumber in here. Got to have some vegetable in your meal. So this is this. This is one you don't have to cook a side vegetable because look at all these vegetables you have in here. Uh, I've got some pearl onions, which will taste good, and finally some tomato. Okay, we are going to cook and simmer this. Try not to throw too much stuff out. Uh, especially some of the harder vegetables, like the green beans, they take a little bit. So I'm going to cover it and just let it simmer in its own steam. Uh, this will go about five to six minutes, and while this is cooking, I will get the meat ready. Okay, it's been a, about three minutes, and I've opened it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spice the vegetables. Uh, I am using Monterey steak sauce as a spice. Uh, I know it's for steaks, but hey, it tastes good in vegetables too. Same with this. We're going to throw some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce in here. Salt and pepper, not much, and then a spoonful of garlic. And stir that on real good and then cover it back up. And as you can see, I have the chicken cut up. Uh, it's about a half a pound of breast chicken strips. It is cut in cubes. When you're cutting chicken, make sure you use a separate cutting board and a separate knife than everything else you're going to cut. I have my cutting board here ready for the steak, because the steak is going to go in last. But the chicken you want to make sure is nice and done. You don't want it to be very, well, you know, very rare. At the same time, we're going to make our steak kind of a medium rare in here. So the chicken has to go in and cook the wall first. So let's put it in and Spread it out. We're not going to mix it to the with the vegetables yet. Kind of put the vegetables off to the side. And then we're going to season the chicken. Once again, Monterey steak seasoning and Worcestershire sauce. If you can't say the name, it's got to be good. A little pepper. Touch of salt. And then cover that back up while you cut the steak. Okay, for the steak, you want to make sure you get yourself a very good cut. This is a beef tenderloin. If you're going to use something like a ribeye, you're probably going to have a little bit too much gristle. Because when you're cooking fast, uh, it, it will not come out tender. You want to cut off the fat. And as you can see, I'm going to put it in about one inch chunks here. This, this will cook very good on the outside. It will brown and you'll have a great rare center. Okay. 
This looks about right. That's what you want your chicken to look like. That is going to be tasty. Now move the, the chicken, mix it up real good with the veggies. And make room for the steak. We're going to put the steak in. We're going to cook it about two to three minutes on one side. We're going to turn it. And we're going to cook it about two minutes on the other side. Then we'll turn it a couple ways on the other parts of it. And make sure that when it comes out, it's a little you know, pink in the middle. Put the same spices on that we put on everything else. And that should be a tasty meal. Uh, once it's all done, you'll plate it. We'll have pictures of what the plating looks like uh, with the couscous I'm going to use. And I'm making a, an Italian roll with this. Uh, and I'll mix up some uh, dipping oil. So please refer back to the other sections on how to make the dipping oil. And we'll see you next time.